I knew she couldn't use much with her arms, so I was like, how, how is she fishing? And then I got out there and I was like, wow, that's cool. I can't use my right arm at all. It's completely paralyzed. And my left arm is partially paralyzed. I can't raise my arm over my head. I do have some bicep and uh, I have enough grip that I can hold on to the rod pretty well. But most of what I do is if I get a fish on, I use my legs and my feet and I strip the line in with my feet. First time I heard from Marty was, uh, she was just starting to kind of think about the fact that she might be able to fly fish. She liked fishing, but she was thinking about the fact she might like to go fly fishing. So explained her disability and wanted to know if I would teach her how to fish. So I said, heck yeah. Here we are. Set it, set it, that's a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Got that one on camera. <laughs> she is a fisherman. You know, I had polio when I was three years old, so I have a lifetime of being very creative and figuring out how to do things. You know, I drive and change my son's diapers using my feet, and it's a lifetime experience for me is learning how to adapt to uh, doing things in a different way. Curiosity and my love of learning have been very helpful because I study everything. I'm, I like to be a student of anything I do. So I've watched a million Orvis videos and studied them, and it's fun for me to learn how to do things. Remember to keep that rod tip higher once you get more line up. A little higher. There it was. Nice loop. That was actually pretty there. Do you see that thing? Yes. That looked really good. Keep it high. Keep it high. Oh, nice! My son, I knew he enjoyed fly fishing a lot in New Mexico. I bought a house in College Station and it had a stocked pond and I had never fished at all. And I told him to bring his fly rod and uh, threw it in and on his first cast he caught a bass and he was shaking. His hands were literally shaking, and I said, what's wrong with you, Brent? And he said, Mom, that's fish fever, and I'm gonna show it to you. I grew up with her being handicapped, and, and so I don't really see her as handicapped. Uh, I never, there was never anything that she couldn't do. You know, whenever she said she was gonna learn to fly fish, I said, okay. I don't get to see my mother very often, a couple times a year, and this is one of them. And we spend good quality time together. <laughs> and I really, I really cherish this time that we've had. The trait that I have developed over my life is resilience. And that means you don't ever give up. It's a lot harder for me to fly fish than it is for my 10-year-old great-grandson or my 50-year-old son. But if you persist in anything, you will eventually be able to do it well enough that it gives you great pleasure.